Good morning. This is Andrew Sheets with the Third Heaven Traveler. Uh, the Third Heaven Traveler blog is about our spiritual life in Jesus Christ and him and us who believe on him and applying this existence to our physical world. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, King James Bible. This study is about the church of Laodicea today versus the church of Philadelphia. Now, just down the road from me is a so-called church. I'm not making this up. In their front, they have a billboard moniker, if you will, that has an LED display that for the past several years I've noticed and watched, and they continually, nonstop, invite you to come in their church and uh, become a part of their church. Never, not once over the years, have I ever seen them post a scripture. Nothing even closely, remotely referring to Jesus Christ. But they say their church is the United Church of Christ. Not even a perverted Bible translation. Of course, you know they'll use a perverted Bible if at all. But And, and I have some other ones in here. But let's read what they tell us. This is just the other day, and I took a picture. I was driving by. I was at a stoplight, and I, I was like, what? Quote, all religions must be tolerated, for everyone must get to heaven in their own way. I'll leave it at that. Let me talk to you. For just a second, a few moments, actually, a few minutes. In this study link, I urge you to study the difference between the Church of Philadelphia and the Church of Laodicea. Please read this link. It's several, a several-hour study. Study and learn what is doctrine, why doctrine is so important, essential today in these last days. Doctrine separates the wheat from the chaff, the goats from the sheep. Doctrine separates the true Christian, the saint, from the what sino, Christian in name only. Understand that doctrine is learning the teaching of the word of God and the teacher, the great master rabbi, Jesus Christ. Now, in that's the second link, please study. Now, the church versus Philadelphia in the church age, this blog used to be up on my website, in my blog list, right? It's about the Laodicean apostate church operations today. In the exact link, you can read it here. If you click on the link, More proof of the apostate Laodicean church of this age and times. You'll find that that link, that blog no longer exists. I did not remove that blog. The update of the church of the Laodicean was removed by Google because I posted articles on what is happening in the church operations today. I didn't make this up. I was just pulling down articles that were coming across on natural, normal, mainstream news and Christian websites. The the things that are happening in church, so-called church buildings, it is shocking. It's revolting. It makes you ill. You want to vomit. So I just continued posting these. I wasn't even making hateful comments. I just said, here's another example of the apostate church, Laodicean church of today. And I added it to my list. Now, I want you to know when I started that list about, I don't know, about five years ago or so, I started with a few handful of articles and it developed about to about two, three hundred And now it had grown to over a thousand of shocking apostate garbage filth. 
Google one day told me that I was violating their rules and what their agreement was. It was basically I was accused of promoting hate speech. All I did was post what was out there. I didn't go there and say, oh, let's go hate on these buildings. Nope. I just posted what's out there. Note that when this blog was removed, I was told that if I go and remove content, which you know what content, that and in and, and my heading, the Laodicean apostasy of today, that I could get the blog posted again. So what I've decided to do is post this blog and video that I'm doing. And if you want to read that list, please, I urge you, email me directly at Viet randy at gmail.com and i will email you this list to show to prove to display the unimaginable apostasy in the so-called church buildings today if you belong to one of these churches i urge you come out from among them run get out you know you cannot be held blameless. Your hands cannot be clean being in this operation. You will, if you're saved, which most of them that are part of this are obviously not. But let's say you are and you're struggling, you want fellowship, and you find yourself in one of these apostate filth places. I urge you, time is short. You will have to answer to Jesus Christ at the Bema Seat Judgment. Also, I want to end this by saying I have a link in here. I want you to read some years back. The Sons of Liberty, Roger Agnes, posted that the church is failing today. The church, the true church, the Church of Philadelphia, we're not failing. No, we're thriving. We're scattered geographically. I hold Bible studies and meetings and fellowship with the little small remnants of true believers around the world from China to the UK to Switzerland and Israel and beyond, all through the United States. Even so, come Lord Jesus, I pray that eyes could be opened in this, these last moments of this time. Amen. Maranatha.